yeah god is good if you know you know if you don't forget about it all i can say is friendships are harder than having a boyfriend guys dude in university just do so that you move forward honestly <laughs> guys welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is Loa <laughs> subscribe join the family we're lit okay definitely make sure you join the family so guys there's gonna be two disturbances today one there's a radio on my brother's listen to the radio today he just felt like today was the perfect day to listen to radio and then outside they decided to cut grass or do whatever they're doing today and my voice is kind of gone because i flew anyway Basically today I'm just gonna have a little update in my life video because there's just been a lot that's been going on. Um today is the let me check the date. Today is the twenty-eighth of December. Um it's currently eleven thirty-seven. So basically I was supposed to start editing a video at eleven AM but I just decided, you know what, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to and it's because of a lot of things, hey. So basically today we're gonna cover the good things in my life at the moment because it's really important to appreciate whatever you have in your life and as much as other things you wish would be going a certain way are not going you have to appreciate some things in your life that are going good you know so i'm gonna start with those and then i'm gonna start with um i'm gonna follow with things i'm struggling with and i feel like other people are also struggling with you know what i mean in terms of content creation because really that's the only thing that kind of stresses most of us in swaziland specifically and then i'm just gonna talk about future prospects i guess and yeah we'll just see where this video goes if it doesn't go the way i want it to go i'm gonna end the vlog because i'm in the video guys i'm so used to vlogs that every time i want to say i want to make a video i always say vlog so you guys will forgive me and you guys will also forgive me for my setup this is literally a camp chair i thought we had a stool in the house but we don't so bear with me i am um, manifesting an apartment by a certain age i won't say it now but i just have a clear picture of what i want okay, let me start stop blabbing and just get straight into the video i hope you enjoy it and i hope it's not i hope i don't regret recording this okay but yeah i hope you enjoy it and it's just a chill type of video i almost said vlog chill type of video so get your tea get your coffee get your whatever you want and let's do the sit down because i, I haven't done a sit down in a while so let's get straight into it okay so we're gonna start with the good things okay i don't want to be i'm not a negative person i'm very positive i have a very optimistic outlook on life guys you should enjoy life regardless of whatever is happening but i'm gonna start with the good things because i'm an optimistic person so one of the greatest things that has happened to me this year is um the growth that i have witnessed with my youtube channel and my um achievements of getting an award from the social media awards Eswatini, which was really overwhelming for me like i honestly surpassed what i thought i could possibly or like achieve you know so that was great hey guys like i was shocked because <laughs> I've always considered myself someone that wasn't okay I've always considered myself in every aspect of life in the background you know I never thought I would shine like that in a platform like that so I think it's a first kind of it's a, it's a good um, step one type of accomplishment because personally I want to achieve more and I want to do more with my channel with my life um, as a whole so that was good guys and I'm so grateful for everyone that supported me um, that voted I, I, I honestly look I knew I'd win because I have God on my side <laughs> so whenever I remember whenever I was with Petty in the room She'd be like, bruh, you made it to top um, 50, you made it to top 10 because it started top 50 and I was happy. Yeah, and then I went to top 10 and she's like, dude, do you see that you're in top 10? And I was like, oh, yeah, but me, I win. If I don't win this, it's either God. It's either God plan for it not to be mine or I just win. There's just two options. It's either God didn't mean it for me or I win. There's just two options for me and... I won so not in a boasting way but i think i have too much faith in the lord i serve and i believe in what i do and i have passion for it so i think 
that's what drives me because honestly guys i'm not getting to the bad stuff honestly it's hard to be a content actually i don't like using content creator for myself because i feel like i just do what i love and honestly it's not on a professional um basis but i want to make it that in the future when i have the resources but at the moment i feel like i have enough to be what i want and to do what i want so yeah i'm grateful for the youtube thing and the growth and it's been great guys and i hope and pray that you guys do the same for other creators because guys it's hard which i'll get into later on another thing um <clears throat> what else am i grateful for okay school has been going good and as much as i know that i can do better to what i did and i think I just need to be a little less hard on myself because I'm a very, very bad perfectionist. I want everything to be perfect. So when something doesn't go well, it's kind of, it gets kind of depressing for me because it's just like, are you good enough? Whatever. But then I kind of like go easy on myself because freshly I'm trying to push this YouTube thing and I'm trying to push school at the same time. I'm trying to push friendships at the same time. It's just a lot. So I think I, I did good. I did good. And as much as it wasn't like exceptional, dude, in university, just do so that you move forward, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, I also wanted to talk about my mental health. So my mental health was not the best in my earlier years of teenhood i think i wanted to fit in a lot you know um and the moment i stopped wanting to fit in was the moment i actually found good you know i'm actually kind of happier when i'm not trying to be in a certain friend group when i'm not trying to like be noticed in a certain friend group and when i stop feeling that way that's when i kind of like establish myself and I was happy with my own company and that's when like automatically people started like kind of like wanting to chill with me be my friends like the moment I was with myself and spent time with myself is when people trying to like actually start realizing how you know there's law hey <laughs> like so mental health wise I'm okay guys like I'm a very positive person no matter how bad it gets like no matter how bad it gets all right um <clears throat> also what helped me is a book i read um it's called so i literally had to search the whole house for this book so it's called the monk who sold his ferrari guys i literally when when people say a book changed my life i'm always like you're being a bit dramatic now but like seriously guys no that book changed my life i won't even lie i started waking up at 5 a.m and exercising i felt good guys like even now, even though I have stopped like exercising at 5 a.m. in the morning, which I should probably go back to, it made me feel good. I was more confident. I was happier. Things were going like to shit, but my mind was blossoming, bruh. Like, I was positive. I saw the good in every bad thing, which I still do, but I just need to go back to my routine so that I like keep myself going because i have been feeling myself like go down but i'm not gonna let that happen because baby i've been in a good space um i've been around good people and those that are like i think are bad for me i've tried to kind of avoid but not, not show them that i'm avoiding them because i feel like my thing is i should be kind to people regardless of how they act i shouldn't like straight up say hi when i are bad for me really i just think some people don't realize how they act or what they do um affects you they're not aware of it so sometimes you just have to be kind and kind of like gently remove yourself from the whole situation and don't be blunt about it because maybe now but they're not aware of how they're acting and how it's affecting you so i think just be kind hey and don't let what people say about you or how they treat you affect you because at the end of the day a human is a human no one's perfect and i know at some points in my life i said something to someone and i thought it was okay but um to them it wasn't okay so i think my responsibility is to be forgiving of others and also to forgive myself so guys forgive yourself hey don't be too hard on yourself because this life is short all right if you can't forgive yourself you'll be sick and you'll die hey <clears throat> what else have i been grateful for god guys <laughs> you know what i don't I, I i can't imagine myself without him now like 
when I think of it, I just go into panic mode and get like crazy anxiety when I think of life without God, okay? Everything I've accomplished, everything I have, everything I want to have, and everything I know I'll have is because, rest assured, by faith, I know I'll have because of Him. So guys, I can't really go too much in depth about God because you can only understand God if you have a personal relationship with Him. So that's why I... I'm not someone that likes to like convince people into knowing God. All I ever say is, I wish you could experience God because it's so much love and it's just, it's magical, okay? So, yeah, God is good. If you know, you know. If you don't, forget about it. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Find God. That's all I'll say. Okay, so now let's get into the cons. There's pros and cons. So now let's go into the cons. First of all, I want to deal with being a creator in the kingdom of Swaziland. I, I think they changed it from Swaziland to... Oh, they changed it from Eswatini to Swaziland now. Um, after certain things happened. If you don't know, you don't know, okay? There's nothing I can help you with. So basically, we're going to talk about being a, a creator in every aspect in the kingdom of, Eswatini. of Eswatini. No, of Swaziland. So, um, I will start with being a YouTuber. Now, I think there is lack of support in um, being a YouTuber because I think the majority don't really take YouTubing seriously. It's just one of those things where people are like, okay, everyone's doing it because of peer pressure or everyone's doing it because maybe they don't have anything to do in life. So, I think um, YouTube was um, marketed in a way where people don't take it seriously. So, unless you're making hits, people won't support you. If, if you're not like... 30k subscribers or 50k subscribers no one will actually take you seriously so you have to like work to to gain a fan base to gain views to gain likes comments you have to really like genuinely interact and just guys personally i have overworked myself to the point where or to the point where i never thought i would work myself and it's paid off but like not to the point where i would like but i'm super grateful for everything i have but guys it can be really exhausting and really discouraging because yo guys <laughs> the amount of time that um goes into um filming editing exporting uploading and money the money um the content is just it's, it's a lot but then again no one is forcing us no, no one is pointing a gun at us and saying create content, you know, we're doing it because we love it But I think as a human being you need that support table. You need that push. You need that um, Encouragement, but in the kingdom It's a bit tricky. Hey, but I'm hopeful that it will change in the future as more um, creators come into the space as people kind of like continue to take it seriously because honestly you guys there's business and there's money in YouTube. It's just you need a fan base and you need um, concrete supporters that will be with you from day one to day whatever. So yeah, that, that's it in terms of um, the YouTube space. Now also, I think Jay, in other creative spaces like music, art, especially music guys, I went to Pop Sunday and I was privileged to watch a performance by Sonelo and I was shocked like I was just like wait there is actually talent like this in the kingdom and it's not only her there's the likes of um Omari, Amrig, um Yellow Bad there's just a lot guys like a lot there's producers people don't know there's um R&B slash pop artists like your beast mode. It's actually a lot, guys, and it's actually shocking. Guti, in a, in such a small country, there's actually a lot of talent, and I know, I just know that there's more, you know. And all it takes is for us to support each other, and I don't know what it is. I don't know why we don't want to push each other and support each other because my thing is. If you make it in a certain space, I feel like I help your friends that are in kind of like in the same genre of um. So as I was saying before, my camera cut me off. My 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 battery. I mean my space is running out, guys. Please buy me a camera. 
as I was saying, I think when a certain person gets into a certain space where there's like large opportunities, I think it's the logical thing to do to put your friends and plug your friends and put them in those spaces, yeah, but put them in spaces where they'll experience opportunities as well. Because honestly, you don't lose anything by sharing resources with your friends, even if it's not your friend. If you know someone does the same thing as you, in a sense, I think just be kind, Brad. Just put them in there. It doesn't take away the opportunities you have, is what I'm saying. So I think if we do it that way, and if we, as a creative space in the kingdom, are more um, tukira and talk and communicate, guys, we can go far because there's just a ridiculous amount of talent in the country. It's insane to me. <laughs> I'm gonna end with this um, um, main thing I dealt with, um, which is friendships, guys. <laughs> You guys didn't say that friendships are hard. You guys, you guys didn't say friendships are hard, guys. And I won't go in depth um, on it today in this video. But what I can say is, you know, friendships need a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of patience. And yeah, all I can say is friendships are harder than having a boyfriend, guys. It, that's, that's just it. But I will speak on a personal basis. I think what I've learned is, as me, Luanzili, I need to work hard on giving my friends more time and being more patient and being more understanding as to why they do certain things a certain way. So I think that's just how it works. And genuinely, that's just how it works when interacting with uh, another human being. It's just, it takes a lot of understanding and kindness and humbleness okay so i'm gonna make another video <laughs> talk about friendships because guys know something needs to something just needs to give hey because you can't tell me a friendship needs to be oh is this this difficult please guys no <laughs> so anyway um to end the vlog i mean the video to end the video i'm just gonna say i'm hopeful for the best for this channel i'm hopeful for the best in my life i'm hopeful for the best in every goal dream opportunity and everything i have in my life my instagram my school life my friendships my relationship i'm just hopeful and i know i'm gonna be big guys <laughs> so let's be big together let's support each other let's be kind to each other let's do our best for each other and we're gonna go far guys honestly that's all i have to do just push each other do our best and be our best so i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you again okay turn on the notification bell so that you know every time i post a video because guys it's so hard it's so hard to be telling people go watch my video sending them links it's yeah i always think i always bother these people you guys don't know how many times i change my broadcast lists where i send out my links because i always feel like okay today let me not annoy this one you know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want more let me know down below i'm supposed to make a video reacting to you guys horror story relationship thing i don't know when i'm gonna do that one but i'm still planning it out so subscribe for future content and just let's grow together guys okay so i've enjoyed the video i love you and i'll see you guys on my next video or vlog. I love you. Bye.